I'm obviously disappointed with the outcome of the election, and as the head of the Republican Party, I share a large part of the responsibility. All right, folks, that was uh, George W. Bush back uh, when uh, he lost uh, his uh, midterms and uh, lost control of the, uh, of the uh, House and just took a shellacking, as they say, and uh, accepting responsibility, quite different from what the president had to say the other day. And uh, joining us now is Dana Milbank, Washington Post columnist. And Dana, I'm so glad to have you back. You know, Eugene Robinson uh, said, I think it was on MSNBC, that it was definitely another shellacking, shellacking the sequel, I think he called it. But the president wouldn't put a label on it. And your column, uh, Obama seems numb to the latest uh, shellacking of Democrats, yeah. is, is right on target. Well, yeah, I don't. I don't think it matters so much whether he put a, uh, a specific label on it, but uh, he didn't want to sort of uh, acknowledge that uh, you know he had had a role in this, that he had been out there saying his policies were on the uh, were on the ballot, uh, and uh, you know, it, it, and, and to some extent, you know, the words don't matter. Bush back in 2006 called it a, a thumping without the G at the end, and Obama <laughs> uh, called it uh, a shellacking. I think he did use the G at the end. But um, uh, the truth is, it's not so much what you call it, it, it's what you do and how you respond. And Obama made clear he's not uh, at least yet going to make any changes to his, uh, uh, his team, not, no personnel changes. He didn't indicate any change in his policies. He sort of uh, you know, was up with the same uh, agenda of uh, immigration, climate change, uh, uh, and the other things, infrastructure, are, uh, education, going, yeah, yeah, the things that will just generally antagonize the Republicans. So, and of course, the Republicans reciprocated by listing all the, uh, they're all chestnuts that the president's not going to sign. So right. it sounds like we just had an election so that we can continue to do exactly what we've been doing for the last two years. Dana, what does it mean when he says, I heard the one third of the people who voted, but I also hear the two thirds that didn't? What did he mean by that? Well, I think he's saying there that uh, essentially uh, minimizing the extent of the mandate that the Republicans have by saying only a third of the people actually voted in the election. Of course, you know, even in the best of times, you're, you're lucky to get two thirds of the people uh, voting um, uh, even in a presidential uh, election. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think he was trying to take away from the Republican victory there, which was a big victory. Uh, on the other hand, he's probably correct that the Republicans don't really have any mandate because they didn't really run on that program. They just said, we're not that guy and we're against anything that he's for. So uh, right now we're sort of in a situation where the only mandate that anybody has is to try to uh, get something done. <laughs> and that seems to be exactly what they're determined not to do. Well, yeah. Well, you know, how does his uh, threat, not threat, his stating that he will sign an executive order when, you know, the polls indicate, and he has to know this, uh, when the Republicans, I think Boehner touted this uh, the other day, 75% of those polled at leaving the voting booth uh, said they do not want him to solve or, or touch the immigration problem with an executive order. Yet he's going to do it. I mean, well, how does that uh, well, prefer the bipartisanship? Yeah, yeah, you can slice that so many different ways. I mean, also in the exit polls, it, I, I think there was a 20-point advantage for people saying uh, they do want to have some path to legalization for the uh, for the illegal uh, uh, immigrants. So it depends on the poll and depends on the way uh, you ask the question. I have a column that just was put online today saying I think he made a real mistake, and if he was going to do this executive action, he should have done it when Before he said the he was election, going to right. do it. Yeah. Um, because, you know, now it's... Uh, yeah, he would have aggravated everybody. But first of all, he didn't save any Democrats by not doing it anyway. And now he's going to create open warfare with the Republican majority, whereas he could have, he probably could have gotten away with it before. And now it's going to be uh, World War III. Do you think it would have uh, helped the Democrats in any way if he had done it beforehand? Well, I don't think it would have hurt them any more than they were already hurt. But if you look at you know Charlie Crist in Florida, yeah, he might have won if he got a better Latino turnout. Uh, Mark Udall in Colorado, he might have won. Some of those House seats, they might have won. They wouldn't have fundamentally changed the election. But, you know, the Dem Democrats in the long term need that Latino vote. And uh, it was not there right. uh, in large numbers for them this time. And if they can't improve on that, then, you know, this sort of long term demographic advantage Democrats have goes away. And that's that's uh, that's a huge let me deal. ask. Let me ask you one more question. We have a minute. This story in the Washington Post, New York Times, about the, uh, the soldiers who have been harmed or had exposure to chemical uh, weapons in Iraq, 
Does this, uh, I mean, I don't know why it did, the Pentagon didn't talk about this at the time under Bush. Uh, it would have, to yeah. me, vindicated him. But does it vindicate him in your mind? Does it put an end to the, uh, the Bush lied uh, scenario and mantra? About the weapons of mass yeah. destruction? I don't know. I think that uh, that ship has sailed a long time ago. It obviously, you know, they obviously went into Iraq to uh, erase a threat that wasn't there at the time. But it's it's almost like you know, come on, this is a dozen years ago now. Yeah, so, but they but, but they uh, but these people got hurt back when they were in Iraq at that time. I mean, they were exposed to those weapons back then. So doesn't yeah. it give some vindication to Bush? I, I suppose somebody could say that. I don't. I don't suspect anybody's going to be. Uh, relitigating the Iraq war, and I think that uh, opinions on that are pretty uh, hard and fast at this right. point. So Dana, great, great to talk now. to you, sir, and I look forward to you coming back. Right. Thank you. My pleasure.